Where would humans be without technology? Absolutely nowhere, that's where. Humans, by themselves as creatures, aren't really capable of much, so they created computers, gadgets, and other things to help them do stuff, and it works. For example, my memory is pretty shit, and even though there are people who can remember thousands of digits of pi, remember everything isn't the best solution. So we invented writing stuff down so we can read it later to remind ourselves what we wanted to know. And the simple thing is used every day in 2020. Stuff like writing down calendar reminders to set an alarm for when we want to do something and more. Of course we type it on the phone, but it's basically the same principle. And that's just one of many pretty simple things technology helps us do even easier. Another example which kind of gave me the idea to make this video would be writing high level code, which is parsed by other programs to generate low level code that's created optimally to make sure that the hardware would get the best benefit of it. These days nobody writes machine code because it's way too slow to make and inefficient too. Just because you have to take way too much things to account to make it as optimal as possible. And in many familiar abstraction layers, we come up with ways to tell our computer to do something without knowing what's happening under the hood. Just because it's way too much for our human brains to process. Now, I don't want to sound too much like a boomer here, but technology isn't exactly making people smart. Sure, some people use it well to help them work, be more creative, but in an age where technology can already help you make some decisions, people slowly start to stop thinking for themselves and rely on it. Even I myself not sure what would I do without my phone or computer. Don't want to get too political here, but if we didn't have internet, we wouldn't have anti-vaxxers and flat earthers and probably many more familiar people. Though when you think about it, this kind of stuff isn't that harmful. Sure there are some dumb people, but there are enough smart people who kinda know what they're doing and that's honestly good enough. But I'm afraid we're slowly transitioning into a time where we won't even know what the fuck our computer is doing anymore. AI is changing a lot of things. Without going too in depth into it, as far as I know, an AI model is basically just a collection of numbers, just numbers, to which you give a collection of numbers as an input, and it will give you a collection of numbers as an input. It just adds, multiplies, and divides them in a certain way, and that's kinda it. That's probably not how all of them work, but it's somewhat based on that principle. It sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Well, the thing is that these numbers are not random, and the AI is trained in many complex ways to get a combination of numbers that works the best for what's it made for. And then it just works. If you give it an image, it'll be able to recognize what's in it. Maybe it's not that good currently, and it can mistake a dog for a cat, but that's not the point. Its whole principle is that it operates in a higher plane that humans just don't really understand. And it's not like someone will look at all its data, all the thousands of numbers, and say, wow, it figures this out because its numbers calculated like that. No, nobody's gonna do that. It's way too complicated and there's no point in doing that. There was this specific AI experiment where people took specific Facebook posts by certain people and tried to train the AI to figure out what the people like. So if someone is like religious, then they like some stuff. If they think the earth is flat, then maybe they like some other stuff. And based on that, it can figure out way more complicated stuff that humans themselves wouldn't be able to figure out. And the thing is that the model didn't have much information to go on. It maybe had like 200 Facebook likes and based on that it knew enough information. And of course it wasn't accurate, but if you train something like this and if you give it more data, it will be able to figure out almost everything. And another AI was some AI that could look at a face and also say some stuff about that person. And some of that stuff is something a human wouldn't be able to tell by himself. So like, if you look at a face, you can figure out if it's a guy, if it's a girl, and maybe someone looks gay, so you can guess that they're gay sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not being too political but it could also guess like some stuff like are you an introvert or a extrovert and even like more complicated stuff that just humans wouldn't be able to figure out by themselves and in the future maybe you could figure out if the person has some certain political beliefs looks like a fucking serial killer so if this ai becomes popular then you have to say goodbye to your privacy because you can hide your face on the internet but in real life that's just not happening and it's just really scary stuff when you think about it but enough of AI. 
Another thing that's about as bullshit, if not more, is quantum mechanics, or anything that has the word quantum in it. This honestly deserves a video of its own, and I might one day create that. But basically, it says that almost everything in the world is random. There used to be this thing called physics, which says that we can calculate how something will work based on the environment or anything else like the wind. And everyone thought that's just how it is. But quantum mechanics came and said, fuck that, there's a 50-50 chance this will happen, and you won't know until you try it. There's more to that, but I don't really want to get into it here. Based on complicated quantum logic, like superposition and quantum entanglement, you can calculate stuff on a quantum computer that would take millions of years on a normal or even a supercomputer. But of course, don't get me wrong, this is useful, just like AI, but it creates another technology that humans aren't able to understand, but are able to use. There's already somewhat functional quantum computers online, and you can use them yourself, but still, nobody knows why this quantum thing even works. There's theories like the many worlds theory, which says that whenever there's a chance for something to happen, then when it happens, two worlds are created, in which different things happen. And right now we're living in the worst reality. Another one is called the hidden variable theory. You're welcome to research them yourself if you want to, but they're not really proven or anything. Everyone is just guessing what's happening because they don't fucking know, nobody knows. And I'm sure there's many familiar stuff like this that I'm not really aware of myself as being used every day. I also just want to clarify that I'm not trying to say, oh wow, it took technology bad. Back in my day, we didn't have AI taking over the world. Something like this happening was inevitable. And it is helping us do everyday things. And honestly, it's pretty impressive that humans are capable of controlling something that they don't even understand. But I just want to give my little opinion on this thing, and that there will be some downsides to this kind of thing. And that's it. I'd really be interested to hear if you guys agree with me, or am I just talking nonsense? Leave a comment tell me your opinion on this. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, join my Discord server. And thanks for watching. Why is it called reality if it's not even real?